Stone finish line with Podge running in as well. But in the 32, he's facing the oncoming traffic. As Andy Ashman comes round, Roscoe's already gone in the Westie. And the Cole Gould's already down on the piss turn. As Dan Latham goes into the side of Mad Mate in 78. 469 Paul Quinnell also involved. We have an early lead with 597, Andy Ashman the leads. Dave Vincent's been caught up here by Prodigy in 32. Motormouth is also amongst it as well in 221. Gets spun out, here's the side of Roscoe's car. Held on the infield, there's Jack Reed here, both down here with Cole Gould. As Carly Day goes in on Gouldy, down here on the start, finish line. Still 597 the leads, please Mark. As Mike comes down on the first turn where Shane Lynn has gone with two double three. Sig is also involved, big fire under Sam Beasley's car, so looking to try and pull off as he gets struck from behind for Kylie Day and one double three from the Bears. And so the race on Roscoe's got going in four six, so Ross Coleman gets going. Chatty man turns it around here on the first turn, so three, two, one, could be looking for a car here. And we're going to go red flag, and the red flags are showing, the red flags are out. For the fire in the 228 Sam Beasley car, so the red flags were out for Sam Beasley. As you saw, the fire's flicking from the back end of the bonnet on the front end of his car. Back to you please, Mars gets under by once again with heat number one. Back to you please, Mr. Starter. As we go through onto the final lap, 
327, Nick Mascal Jr. makes his way down the home straights. It's a race to come in three. We're on the final lap now. 327 as he makes his way down the back straight and into the pit zone. The road ahead is clear. As a checker flag is raised, he comes around to complete the distance. On heat number one, he's almost been caught by Carly Day. There he is, Mick Mascal Jr. in 327, taking the win in heat number one for the Unlimited National Bangers. We wave the rest through now. Places. We keep them running as soon as we got the cars we need, Mr. Stutter. As the rest come to of course, valuable places for the uh, wild card as they qualify for that throughout the heats. And the red flags go up, please, Mr. Stutter. Red flags around the raceway to an E number one for the unlimited national bangers. He tries to come off. 
as Motley has gone as well. 57 still the leader as he takes it back up, so Dino is our leader. Stuart coming in 57 goes through, pulls off another lap, the rest race through. Tom Jordan taking off track, yes, the concrete blocks in the centre, so number nine has a run in with the blocks. As Turkish has gone on the back straight, it's five laps next time, five to go next time. For sure coming, 57 Dino as he goes down the back straight. As no show stop down on the pit turn as well on the inside of turn three and four. Baloo looks to pull off here on the home straight, another one of the birds has gone off again. James Rushton goes through as well, Cotton Eye Joe Cotton spun out by Jack Avery, coming out of the pit turn, 617 races on. That's half the field are sitting around the racetrack, they've gone out at various points, the rest still continue on, they uh, qualify for the wild cards later on. So 57, 617. Until it's Turkish and Wildy have a moment here on the piss turn. But it's still a 57 Stuart coming at Leeds as he makes his way down the back straight once again. With two plus this laps to run. As he makes his way round, Turkish just turned it around here on turn four. And may well find an interest in someone. Remains to be seen. Down friendly is having some attention from Danny Oliver. In a 4-2-3, as Turkish looks to set off, who's he going for? It's Wildy! And a head-on on the pitch turn from Wildy and Turkish. And both went back away. And still 57 and leads. As Noddy has made it out once again. But as we come into the final turn, 57, Stuart Cohen makes his way round to complete the distance. There he is, Dino, Stuart Cohen takes the win. As Lyndon Stark and Turkish come together here on the first turn. Wildy on the front end of Turkish. Oh, and Danny Oliver in the side as well. As the gladiators of Wildy have a moment here in heat number two. We're going to a red flag, please, Mr. Sano. Red flags so in heat number two for the Unlimited National Bangers. And that was more like it. Uh, plenty of entertainment. The Gladiators, of course, living up to their expectations.
for the Unlimited National Bangers. So we're going to give them time. We'll get them out on track for race number five. Here we go then. Heat number three gets underway now. The green flag goes down. We're underway. For 15 laps, once again, for the Unlimited National Bangers. Heat three. As they go off into action. A lot of big names out in this one, including Boxer Jack, Corn Dog, Mark Cooper Jr. Two six Dave King. As the taxi has run up the hill, going down the home straights. Seven three two Lakey gone and on the roadway bends. Mason Foster up the road there with Shane Windsor and a seven two five Simon Boy. Two three of them go away. They get on the way once again. The taxi going around catches Buddy James. upside down on the back straight the reds were coming out anyway so uh, check on chubby and he's out and all okay with
And coming up next will be the first of two consolations for our Unlimited National Bangers coming up next. as we get underway with our first consolation for the Unlimited National Bangers. Ashley Riley races on. 
Chunky goes out again in 7-Eleven. And Alfie Lee is stuck in the back of Carly Bayer. Sooner or later, someone is going to go in, but Palou gets hit from Paul Quinnell. As Chunky goes down the back straight, will he go into that piss turn? He doesn't, as Dan Rose is going on 4-3, so he's blown up in a big cloud of smoke. And still they race on, we pick up our leader. Four six nine is our leader, Paul Quinnell from Aldershot, as Turkish turns it around here. And looks to take on the leader, and takes out Paul Quinnell, is taken out, and Azash goes into Turkish. Paul Quinnell's managed to limp away, is Chunky going to go in? No, he don't. And Chunky goes through him too. Dino Jr. is still out there, but limping on with uh, serious suspension damage. Chubby still going in 82. And Martley goes into Alfie Lee. Eventually someone's gone into the back of them too. As Martley looks to try and drive away on the pit turn. And uh, Ashley Miley determined to get a good result here to try and get through to the wild card race. Chunky comes around the turn as well in 7-11th. Paul Quinnell has well and truly gone on the roadway bend as Chubby takes out Dino Jr. And 32, we take the checker flag, goes down. As 32 took the checker flag, and one bell. As Dino Jr. and Chubby have a moment here on the pitch turn, the rest comes through, we haven't got many left. As Dino Jr. and Porgy, and we will not go red flag. Red flag please, Mr. Styler, red flag. To end our first consolation for the unlimited national bangers. Not many survive in that one. Top three from this go through to the wild card. Consolation number two is coming up next.
see from this one. Top three once again go to from the consolation seconds. What national bounds King E Taft out here? It could be caught. It got caught big time by Dean Kelly. We get a check on Dave King, please, Mr. Starter. As Gavin also was going in on the back of Dean Kelly as well. As problems down on the road right then with 36 the misfit as running the problems down there with Tom Jordan, race marshal almost become part of the traffic here on the home straight. Sammy Ford has gone into the wall down here on the pit turn the Westy of Roscoe in attention again gets T-boned by Tommy West as John James goes into the back of Sammy Boy and more big hits going on down on the pitch turn for Roscoe. Gathers involved down here with Piglet as well. In goes the Pavia on the back of Matt Hill. Tommy West, in goes the Misfit. As one of the Strouds goes in on the side of PJ Fagan, the Big West has more attention from Lump and now Motormouth goes into Lump. Here comes Joe Barrett on Motormouth's big yank and backs away instantly from that. And the rest of Ross Coleman is in a sorry looking mess. Gabba limps away here on the turn as Steve Noon comes around, Bigger drives away from that pilot. The Union Jack flag has gone out. And it's Shane Winter 160 that leads while that's been going on. And Joe Barrett goes in again down on the pitch turn. And still backs away from that hit as well. Here comes Tom Thurman again on the pitch turn. In goes 725 as well. In goes Baltimore. Still they go in there on the pace turn with 160 still leading, 200, Steve Moon is second, Ashley Garrard has backed away in 337, Joe Barrett is lining himself up into Motormouth, he goes again, Shane Winter has spun out, the lead has gone, 160 is out, but he's still in the lead, he's still got time on his side, but 200 is coming round in second, but here comes the group of cars with Joey Reynolds. And 760 takes it out, three to go next time for Joey Reynolds. 200 second, and then after that, we look back on the lap sheets, but here are the front two of 760, 200. As Joey Reynolds spun out here on the home straight, to the last lap now for 760 Joey Reynolds 200 second 171 Tommy West is a long way back and it's not over yet as one more joins Motormouth front up down on the turn as Joey Reynolds comes round the checker flag is race 760 Joey Reynolds from Steve Moon on third place and that will do us a red flag please Mr Starter a red flag around the racetrack and that ladies and gentlemen deserves a round of applause what a race that was that was excellent well done to all involved down here on the pit turn and it's going to take a bit of time to clear this one up coming up next heat number two for the National Saloon Stock Cars
57, they know themselves. Will he choose left? He chooses the left, he's going to the front. Stuart coming in 57, he's going to the front of the grid. Heat a three winner of Gary Madrick, 33. As the cards are shuffled up, will he go for the left? He's going to the back. Gary Madrick in 33 is starting this from the back of the grid. Which leaves only one more driver to decide whether he goes to the front or to the back. Joe Pacheco is heat four winner, left or right. He chooses the right, it's the front of the grid. So Gary Madrick, the only one of those four starting at the back.
to go next time. Five laps next time. As one double team, Mark Cooper Jr. is looking for someone near on the home straight. As Darren Fenley goes through, Norris goes through in second. As 119 is dispatched on the back straights, Crusher has gone. Oh, a monster T-bone from Bougion, Sid Sherman Jr. Here on the home straights, he has taken an incredible T-bone on the passenger side and he's waving them in for more. And still they race on with Darren Fenley with three laps to go as well. Dean Chunky get moving. Here's your leader, Darren Fenley in 673 for 124, 209, 247. That's got no Joe Carton has gone on turn one. Boogie's having some action with Andy Ashman. As we go through with two laps for Darren Fenley. And one, two, four, Lewis, as Waller takes on Patch and runs him up the wall. As Bro keeps going in two, four, seven. Suicide Sid Sherman still trying to get some attention as we're into the final lap now. And here comes Fenley, Darren Fenley in six, seven, three. For one, two, four, Lewis comes through. From 209 Tombo, two, four, seven, three, six, two. As we're in the final lap, and Boogie's line up on turn four. Is Boogie going to take on Darren Fenley? He's not. And 673 has always flown off passenger side as Mark Cooper Jr. goes up against the side of John K. Paxley on the side of uh, Rick Zellia. He's going to check on that driver. He's been hit on the driver's side. Junkie has been struck by Paxi Beasley, the rest gone through as Mark Cooper goes in again on Junkie here on the pit gate turn as the rest gone through to complete the distance. Red flag please Mr Starter, red flag to win the World Cup final for the unlimited national bangers and it goes away to 673 Darren Finley.
second, let's get underway. Good luck to them all. It's over to Mr. Starter. as he went down the back straights. We checked to make sure he's okay. We give him a round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. He's climbing out from that car. But my goodness, what a roll that was. <laughs> and he acknowledges your cheers as well. Glad to say he's okay with Turkish as he uh, walks away from that one. And uh, we'll get that car cleared. And <laughs> set and are ready to go for take two for the showdown. And we're away, we're back to green. We're back on the way. As a big crash down the back straight, Bumble's turned around, he's going to get quit head on. Oh, no. Chatty man. 59 was all 
Alonso in the front, a chatty man as well. And uh, Tivo Mir, the chatty man, three laps next time. It's the start of three laps next time. As one of the Strouds goes in on chatty man, here comes Patch again. The goes round them. Gather's gone into problems as well. On the turn three, Lethal's are going to get going again. 59's driven back round again. As Martley rejoins here on the home straight. And on the pit turn, a rollover for a Privia. Red flag, Mr. Salah, red flag. Just as it backed out into the traffic. Got hit by 57, Joe Brown, and rolled over. I'm trying to make sure that he's okay. Down there, we'll check to see the number of that car as well. from 362, John James, with not a lot of cars still left running, Jack Ovey needs to rejoin here, Pax Beasley trying to take a swipe 
726 of Sam Bai, but uh, pretty much waved at him and carried on. So three cars, Paxi Beasley. I thought he was going head on there. With three six tails, he turns it around. And Sambo also going in the same direction, so they're pretty much chasing each other now. Again, the turn around, Mrs. Douglas, so we encourage them to get involved. Here comes three six tail on Paxi Beasley. And pulls off. Three cars, uh, 362 gets himself back out again, so Sam Bai and uh, Paxi Beasley. Uh, the last two cars running, so we need them to uh, at least one of them to turn it around to face each other head on, because 362 John James has pulled off. And I think Paxi Beasley is acknowledging them as the starter. Paxi Beasley's not run to back out. Here comes in on the best time, Paxi Beasley, stand by, head on. Paxi looks at the back away, which he does. Stand by, stand by. Are you going? He's life in the murk yet. Another head on shot, Paxi with more speed. Gathers to and flying just behind him, but he's out of this now. It's between these two. Paxi Beasley going for a long run up. Sambo on turn four, head on! And I think that may be the end of Sambo as Patch backs away and looks to turn it around. There it is, so red and checkered three, Mr. Starbo. That concludes the destruction derby. 77, Paxi Beasley taking the win. There's Sambo in the 726. You run around, I'll just keep it. I'll just give you the start of the showdown to myself. Six months, seven. Get over here, I'll be showing you how to do the seven. We are taking second. 17, Carlo, three, Matt, they do it. Taking third place. Seven, six, six, Joey Riddle, taking fourth. And last of all, the picture of John Gaines in three, six, seven. Seven, six, eight, and three, six, seven. Not here, first race. No, you was here. I got running to the fence, you know.